I never imagined that a routine night of work would turn into the most terrifying experience of my life. I have been a taxi driver for over 20 years, and I have seen strange things, but what happened to me that night in Pamplona left me frozen with fear. I still don't know if what I saw was real or a product of my imagination, but what I do know is that I will never forget the night I transported a passenger who seemed otherworldly. Her sad gaze and sepulchral silence sent shivers down my spine. They say taxi drivers are like the confessors of the city, but I never thought I would have to transport a ghost. Yes, you heard it right, a ghost. Get ready to hear the most chilling story you've ever heard. Terror in the Taxi The real story that will leave you breathless. For over 20 years, my life has unfolded behind the wheel of a taxi, exploring the dark and silent streets of Pamplona at night. I have witnessed countless stories and seen things that defy logic, but nothing compares to the night when a mysterious woman got into my taxi and took me to a place I will never forget. It was around 2 a.m., and the streets were deserted, immersed in the stillness of the early morning. That's when I saw her, an ethereal figure, a young woman with long, dark hair, and large, melancholic eyes that seemed to carry the weight of the universe. She wore an immaculate white dress that fluttered as if suspended in the air. I couldn't resist stopping when she raised her hand, signaling for me to approach. The strange sensation I experienced at that moment had no logical explanation. Opening the back door of the taxi, I noticed her movements were ethereal, as if her presence was in tune with a realm different from ours. With a soft and absent voice, she said, to the cemetery. Despite feeling a chill running down my spine, I began to drive towards the cemetery on the outskirts of the city. The woman remained silent, staring out the window with a deep sadness, as if carrying the weight of an unresolved tragedy. The journey was surreal, with the only sound being the hum of the engine and the echo of our breaths. When we arrived at the cemetery, the woman paid the fare and slid out of the taxi. I watched as she walked towards the entrance, her steps leaving barely a trace, as if floating above the ground. I stayed in the taxi, my curiosity mixed with growing discomfort. I observed her for a few minutes, waiting for her to emerge from the graveyard. However, something unexpected happened, I saw her fade among the tombstones, as if merging with the darkness of the night. Intrigued and fearful, I decided to venture into the cemetery to find her. I called her name in the darkness, but my voice only echoed among the silent graves. The search was in vain, the woman had disappeared without a trace. I returned to my taxi with a mind full of unanswered questions. Had I picked up a ghost in my taxi? Or was my tired mind playing a nocturnal trick on me? In the following days, that experience haunted me. I couldn't get the image of the woman in the white dress out of my head, nor the strange sensation that filled the air during the journey to the cemetery. I began to question my own sanity, seeking rational explanations for what had happened. Sharing my story with fellow taxi drivers, some were incredulous, while others shared their own inexplicable experiences in the nights of Pamplona. There were tales of shadows moving in the darkness, inaudible whispers, and encounters with spectral figures. The collective conclusion was that, in the silent nights of the city, the unexplored manifests in mysterious ways. The lingering question remains, what happened to that woman in the white dress? Was she a supernatural entity seeking redemption or someone lost in time and space? My mind has been marked by that experience, and although I have continued my work as a taxi driver, each nocturnal journey fills me with renewed caution. Who knows what mysterious encounters await in the shadows of the night? In my quest for answers, I have found myself asking, do you believe in ghosts? What explanation could there be for that encounter on the dark night of Pamplona? Have you ever experienced something that defies all logical explanation? In a world full of mysteries, sometimes the most unsettling answers are found in the shadows of the unknown. Don't forget to follow us on Stories and Events. Thank you!